I don't want to say I screwed up, but sir, do you think he's going to notice like a little hole in his handlebar mustache? I don't think so. He's kind of really blind right now. He can't even see this razor going near his eye. What's up guys, my name's Sir Buckhead and welcome to Barbershop Simulator. Now this is an accurate simulator about shaving people's beards. And that's basically it. We have this fine and mighty guy named Richard Simmons. He doesn't really seem to have a whole lot of life in his eyes. I think he might be a psychopath, but you know what? Psychopath or no psychopath, he's still a person and he still wants us to shave his majestic beard. Okay, Richard, you don't really seem to have any eyebrows. We might have to fix that later. I'll just take your um, beard hair and glue it onto your eyebrows. Yeah, he wants the lazy, the stubble. I don't know why he wants the stubble. You see, Richard is on a fine date with Mrs. Kibbles. You see, Richard has been eyeing Mrs. Kibbles for a long time, and he is having a date with her today. Now, like any other simulator, the controls are really wonky, but I think we did it, Richard. We've been standing here for like five minutes just looking at his beard. You might want to smile more. You're gonna have to do that for your date. I still can't get over the fact that he doesn't have any eyelashes or eyebrows. Yeah, I think we're done here. Our performance, pretty good. Our speed, Pretty good and our thumbs up pretty good. You guys didn't really see that I kind of stabbed him in the eye Yeah, that's probably where the minus ten dollars came from now our next customer Steve Miller looks a lot like Richard Like he has the same psychopathic look the same missing eyebrows except this time he wants a different beard Are you trying to impersonate him sir? Are you trying to go on a double date with mrs. Kibbles is miss Kibbles? um uh, now, sir, I'm very sorry about this, but I had to shave most of your beard. He's kind of looking more like a psychopath now, but the good news is if you look at him from the side, more or less of a psychopath, I swear. Life is totally drained out of his eyes. I'm sorry, but did your mom like abandon you when you were little? Okay, that is one fine and mighty baby, but you know, just to be sure, we're just gonna take care of that hair you got there. Oh, minus five dollars. I guess he already likes his hair. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're done here. Ben Lewis, you look a lot like Steve and Richard, and this time you want another lazy. You know what, I quit. Being a barber shop is so boring, you don't get to show any of your artistic side, so I think we're gonna make art out of his beard. I'm sorry, but you're gonna look like a monster after this. Just a little dabbles here and there, you know, being a barber shop is the same equivalent to being a painter, like Bob Ross. You gotta show your artistic side. Sir, are you also going on a date with Mrs. Kibbles? Are you guys gonna date her all at the same time? Because you sure have the same looks as them. Kind of. Now I know what you're missing here, sir. You really don't like that mustache. So we're just gonna shave all of that off and we'll keep this look because this is the look of a man who ran out of shaving cream. Okay, listen, Ben, you're not as nice as Steve or Richard. So I think we're gonna be done here after I just shave off this last patch, beautiful. Cecile Bryant. Isn't Cecile supposed to be like a girl's name? To any man named Cecile, I am very fruitfully sorry for calling your name a girl's name. You know, it's, it's a unisex name. It could be any name you want it to be. You also look like a psychopath. As an artist, you really have to talk to yourself. Where do I start? I think... I think we're gonna start right here, right here. For a second, your mustache was kind of invincible, sir. We're just gonna give you more of a psychopathic look. Oh, he's starting to look like Abraham Lincoln. I just need to get this little spot right here. Guys, the controls are so wonky. I don't know how to rotate this. Just need to get that little spot to fulfill that Abraham Lincoln look, sir. Okay? I cut off the part, but I also cut out some of your eyeball. I'd say I did a fine and mighty job here. I know you want a lazy, but trust me, the second you walk out that door, all the ladies are gonna come. Mrs. Kibbles, you don't need her. You don't need her in your life. You're Abraham Lincoln, dude. You could 
go to a play. Okay, so Jim actually wants to look different from his other five twins, Richard, Steve, Ben, don't even remember the rest. Jim Harris wants the goat. So basically a lazy and just leave the goatee. Okay, now Jim, I wish there was more unique people like you in life. I would really want to show my artistic skills, but everyone always wants the baby or a lazy, which is really boring. I'm kind of sorry I nicked your ear, dude. I, I can't really get the bottom part. Okay, Sir Buckhead, let's not mess up the last part. If you freaking mess up the goatee, you're a monster. I'd say that's pretty good, right? Do goatees have like a little neck beard piece? I'm, I'm just gonna go with that, Jim. I think we did good here, yeah. That's all good, B minus? Not bad, we finally have enough money to buy something. Guys, you know that time in life when you realize half of your life has gone by? It's called an existential crisis. Sam over here, he is uh, kind of having his existential crisis. Let me explain to you. This half represents the life he has left. And this half represents the life he's already wasted. And minus five dollars. I'm sorry I nicked your cheek. At least you're not bleeding, sir. I can't really get that part. We're just gonna leave that there. Sam, this is a barber shop. This isn't a place where you learn how to smile, but I could make a smile out of you or not. Guys, how much money do you think I could get if I just refuse to shave them? <laughs> so if I refuse to shave them and basically do nothing to them, it gives me an F. But it also gives me $40. Oh, because of speed. I could just... I think I just found a loophole. I could just keep on finishing them instantly, not even paying them. Or they not even... I don't even know what to say right now. This is basically free money, guys. As an artist, as a beard artist, we have to really look at this guy. And see, where do we want to start first? I think... We're just gonna give him a nice shaved mustache, or maybe a shaved chin too. This razor is really bad. Guys, I am so sorry. I have really big hands. I can't really control where I'm raising your face, razoring your face, but you're just gonna go to your date with Mrs. Kibbles, I swear. She already has 50 dates already. Okay, so this guy isn't that bad. He wants a goatee, but I think we're gonna give him an opposite of a goatee. He's not gonna have a goatee at all. Instead, he's gonna have all of this hair to deal with, and I'm gonna let him go home now. Okay, someone who finally wants a different hairstyle. That's gonna be really hard to pull off, dude. I'm like a one-star barber shop. But you know what? We got this. Gotta shave the sideburns. Look at the picture for a long time. We gotta keep this side intact, right? So just shave the sides. Okay, don't mess this up. This is the one customer you don't want to mess up. Okay, okay, we got the handlebar. Now to do the other side all over again. Don't screw up. Don't screw up. I don't want to say I screwed up, but sir, do you think he's going to notice like a little hole in his handlebar mustache? I don't think so. He's kind of really blind right now. He can't even see this razor going near his eye. I'd say that's pretty good. All you have to do is put some beard oil on that. Just comb it a little bit more and it should look a lot like that picture. Who knew you would be so bad at barber shopping that the customer would have the audacity to give me $40 and just take it back. Okay, someone who actually wants a pretty different beard. Nelson Hayes wants the wharf? The wolf? No, that the wart? I have no idea what you want, dude. I'm, I'm just gonna pay attention to what the picture says and the picture is actually smiling, but you're not. I'd say that's pretty good, right? Just gotta get this side. Do you have a neck beard in that picture? I can't really see the neck in that picture, but I think that's good. I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes, skipping 50 men, trying to get a guy with a unique beard. And you know what? I decided we're not gonna follow this beard thing. These guys, they, they don't really have any unique beards or anything. We're gonna give them our own taste of beards. Basically what I've been doing for this entire video. Okay, you're just gonna stand there. I am an artist. I'm just gonna frame that good. I'm just gonna go for the Iron Man. Hopefully I could get it right. The Tony Stark, he wants to be the new Tony Stark. 
Hopefully I didn't already butcher it. So basically it's like this, sir. Something tells me you don't really like talk a lot. I kind of nicked your ear. I'm sorry about that. I'll give you a lollipop after this if you behave. Okay, now for the Tony Stark. I'm just going to look at my reference picture. It's a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And I think we're good. That looks a lot like Tony Stark, doesn't it? Gotta... Oh! Oh! Oh, no. I'm sorry, dude, but you're a failed experiment. We're gonna try the Tony Stark on a different customer. I have been sitting here for like five minutes trying my best to get this guy looking like Tony Stark, but instead, I get this monstrosity. You know what? You're not cut out to be the next Tony Stark. We're just gonna move on to a different person. Hey, guys, you know that one scene from Justice League where Batman has a beard and stuff? We're gonna do that. Okay, I think we're done here. F, not bad. No one ever told me I had a small knife beard thing. I don't even know what it's called, but we're going with the Jacksepticeye right now. Gotta look at my reference picture. Why do people have such intricate beards? It's so hard to take care of. I think, I think we're doing it. Does he have any of the side? He has a little bit of side. Like, like about that much? Okay. Not bad, sort of looking like Jacksepticeye's beard right now. I know I kind of messed up your mustache. It's kind of uneven, but you know what? We can fix that. There. You happy, Oscar Walker? You're gonna be a fine and mighty man. Just don't look at any ladies in the eye because something tells me no lady wants to make eye contact with you. You might wanna just close that. You know, I, I could do that for you. We're just gonna try to stab him in the eye so he never opens them again. Guys, I have no idea why people never thought of this before. This beard is the perfect beard for getting any lady. You see here, this part of the beard is for the ladies who don't like beards. This part of the beard is for the ladies who like stubbles. And this part of the beard is for the ladies who like a full-on beard. Okay guys, I decided to challenge myself, make this game more interesting. I'm going to look at the reference beard once, and then I'm going to close my eyes, not looking at all, and we're just gonna shave. Try our hardest not to hit him in the face. Try our hardest to actually shave him. Am I shaving him, guys? I swear, I'm not looking right now. If it's perfect, that just shows how magical of a beard artist I truly am. We're gonna give myself five more seconds and then I'll open my eyes. One, two, three, four, five. That must have been really unentertaining for you guys. Did I seriously not get any of him right now? Oh, that was so embarrassing. You know, give me five seconds. Sir, I don't think this is how razors and knives are supposed to work. It's kind of going in your neck right now. This is not how you shave, dude. Oh, that's really unhealthy. Now guys, trust me on this one. Bearded stripes, that's what I'm gonna call it. Stripes of beards, whatever you wanna call it. This is going to be the new trend of 2019. Every YouTuber, every celebrity, they're all gonna have this. And I'm gonna call it the Sir Buckethead beard. I know it's not that original. Okay, radio, could you could you silence yourself for a second? I'm talking right now. Like I said, Sir Buckethead beard, everyone's going to have it. And when you, yourself, grows a beard like this, I want you to thank me. Thank me for giving this world something unique. But you know, guys, I think that's gonna be enough of Barbershop Simulator for today, and this was quite the experience. If I ever wanna grow out a beard, I'll remember how to actually shave one. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode.